What is up guys, DecaCrafter here, and today we're setting up a Sky Factory 4 server so that you can play it with your friends. First thing you need is you're going to need the Curse Forge launcher. If you don't have that, just Google Curse Forge and you'll find it. When you open it up, you're going to go to Minecraft and then browse mod packs. You're going to search for, you can put Skyfac or whatever you want to put. Um, you'll find Sky Factory here. It's going to say install, I already installed it, so mine just says play. The next thing you want to do after you've installed it, you're going to go here, you're going to click on it again, and you're going to click this little icon here. It's going to download the server pack. That looks like this down here at the bottom of my Google Chrome. Once it downloads, you're just going to click this and hit show in folder. When you hit show in folder, it's likely going to open up your downloads. Um, but I already dragged mine to my desktop. So first thing you want to do once you download that is drag it onto your desktop. And then it's going to be this thing right here. So take it out of wherever it downloaded to, put it on your desktop and create a new folder called Sky Factory Server. So right click, new folder, Sky Factory Server. I've already done that, so I already have my folder created. And then you're just gonna drag this right into that new folder you make, open it up. And now you see that I have two folders, but you'll only have this one that you've just put in here. So what you're gonna do is right click on it and hit extract all. Once you've done that, you'll have the second folder here that doesn't have the zipper on it. You're just going to open it up. I highly recommend you read this, the Sky Factory 4 multiplayer um, instructions. This pretty much just tells you the commands that you need. You can ignore the world types if that looks confusing to you. It's just the different types of worlds in this. You set this in the um, server config I'll show you. In server.properties, you have to right click it and hit edit with notepad++. If you don't have notepad++, you can download it. I'll put a link down in the description to it. It just makes it so that you can read these files pretty easy. So you see the level type right here is default. So in here, level type default, generator settings. Then you just want to find generator settings right near the top. Um, so generator settings and the level type, you just change that and then you can get these different worlds. You will have to, if you run the server again, delete your world folder. We don't have a world folder yet because we haven't quite created the server yet, but that's how you want to change those if you want to actually try out the different types of worlds and things that they have. Then it will go through the creation for setting up teams and creating new islands for your friends that join your server. So definitely give that a little uh, quick read. Next, what you want to do, if you're on Windows, find this Windows batch file right here. It's the one called install, but make sure you click on the Windows batch file, not the shell script. You don't need any of the shell script files, so we can actually click on all of those. I'm just holding control, clicking on them all, and we're going to just delete them. They're useless. Now we don't have to worry about them. Hit install. This is going to take a while as it's installing Forge and all of its required files. Now when I run it, we are now starting our Sky Factory for a server. All right, so we need to accept the EULA. Just change this to true, save, and server start again. If you want your friends to be able to join your server, you are going to have to port forward. So make sure to go to my port forwarding tutorial in the description. If you need help with any of this video, you're running into problems, please reach out to me on Discord. Okay, so you can see up here it said done. That means the server is loaded up. Uh, then it loaded a bunch of other stuff after technically finishing the server. So now we can go ahead and join it. So you're going to go back into your Curse Forge and just hit play. All right, now that our game has finally loaded, we're going to go to multiplayer. We can hit allow access. All right, add server, server address. So because you're the host, you can't connect to your own public IP. If you don't know your public IP, it's part of the port forwarding tutorial, but you're going to go to the website called canyouseeme.org. It's right up here somewhere on the screen where you can see it. Um, you're going to go there. It's going to say it's testing for like port 80, but do change that to port to uh, 25565 on canyousumi.org and then run the test. Once the server's done loading, you'll know if your friends are able to join. So we're gonna hit add server, type in localhost, or you can literally just put a zero. But that's how you connect to your own server if you're the host. Then you're gonna hit play. We're now on our own Sky Factory uh, start. You get just a tree, it looks like. So uh, anyway, good luck guys. I hope you and your friends survive. And uh, if you need help, again, reach out to me on Discord. YouTube doesn't send me notifications when, like, if I reply to you and you reply back in the comments, YouTube doesn't tell me. I don't know why. So reach out to me on Discord. I'll always get back to you. 
And uh, if I don't get back to you quick enough, you can go ahead and message me again. I'm not going to get mad at you. I do love being able to help you guys and get your server set up. So I do appreciate you guys watching all the way till the end of the video. Again, go to canyouseeme.org. It'll tell you your public IP so your friends can join you. you don't hand that IP out to people you don't know. Um, it does pose a security risk to your network. I personally just pay for a server host. If you need a server host, I use Shockbyte. You can get 25% off with code DECACRAFTER, and you can find a link to it down in the description. Anyway, have an awesome time playing with your friends, guys, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.